Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi has died after the helicopter he was traveling on crashed in a mountainous area in the northwest of Iran. Iran State TV says there is no sign of life at the crash site of a helicopter that was carrying President Ibrahim Raisi and Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdollahian. Rescue teams located the crash site on Monday morning, at which point the president and his foreign minister had been missing for more than 12 hours. President Raisi, the foreign minister and all the passengers in the helicopter were killed in the crash, a senior Iranian official told Reuters, asking not to be named. Iran's mayor news agency reported that all passengers of the helicopter carrying the Iranian president and foreign minister were martyred. State TV reported that images from the crash showed the aircraft smashed into a mountain peak, although there was no official word on the cause of the crash. State news agency Erna said the president was flying in an American-made Bell 212 helicopter. Amar Raisi, 63, who was seen as a frontrunner to succeed Ayatollah Ali Khamenei as Iran's supreme leader, was traveling after a visit to the border with Azerbaijan when the helicopter crashed. Rescue teams fought blizzards and difficult terrain through the night to reach the wreckage in the early hours of Monday. With the discovery of the crash site, no signs of life have been detected among the helicopter's passengers, the head of Iran's Red Crescent, Per Hussain Kolovant, told State TV. Earlier, the national broadcaster had stopped all regular programming to show prayers being held for Raisi across the country. Ibrahim Raisi is a hardline cleric close to Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. His election as president in 2021 consolidated the control of conservatives over every part of the Islamic Republic. Subscribe to the channel and find out the hottest news every day.